Okay, hello again. Um, in the second part of this video, uh, I'm going to create these more complicated and complex design elements that I found uh, on magazine covers. Uh, the first one here is a very nice, nice element. It actually looks a bit complicated, but it's actually quite easy to make. So I'm going to bring it onto our page here. So I'll work with it side by side. Okay. Um, this one's got a drop shadow as well. I'll show you how to do that. Now, in order to get this started, we're going to use the uh, rectangle tool. And let's draw our uh, rectangle about this big. We'll make it a bit wider. Let's give it a fill of blue um, and we'll give it no stroke, okay, which is already set to. Wait a minute, we want a fill of blue and let's get rid of the stroke. It's got a blue stroke, but we'll get rid of it. Okay. And now, I want to round the rec uh, the corner, so in order to do that, um, there's a button up here, um, which one is it, apply, no, this one here, okay, so here's the, rec the, um, co the corner of your rectangle options, let's choose rounded, and it's probably if we just press the buttons up here, the numbers up here, it's going to round them for us, okay? So let's go to about maybe 19 or 20 mil like that. All right, happy? That's good. All right, let's um, draw out another rectangle. We'll do it like a horizontal rectangle. And let's change the fill to, uh, the stroke to none, fill to blue, and let's also do the change the rounded corners and let's choose the same roundness 20 millimeters as our other one that we created so well, I'm just gonna click and type 20 in there press enter that'll give us 20 millimeters all right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this shape on top of this one here and I'm gonna zoom in with command plus pan around um, I'm gonna drag it in slightly and what we're going to do is we're going to join these two shapes together. All right, now you can, there's my exam, finished example there that I spent a bit of time on. I'm not going to spend lots of time on this one. You guys can fiddle around with it. But the Pathfinder tool is what we want. And we're going to combine these two shapes together. So in order for the Pathfinder tool to work, we need to have the two shapes that we want to combine selected. So if I just click the first one and then hold shift and click the next one, I've got them both selected. Go into Pathfinder. Remember, if you can't find it, go to Window. Um, object and layout and Pathfinder will be there. Just click that and that'll come up. And we're not going to just, um, just uh, delete the shape from the bottom shape. We're going to press this button here and that's going to join the two shapes together. So now they're, they're the one shape. Okay. Um, now to get that top bit there, I'm going to use the ellipse tool and just move up a bit. I'm just going to draw out like a, an ellipse, maybe like this. Okay, let's change the fill to blue. I keep doing the same thing um, like that. Now let's move it down on here and snap it kind of to the middle. And again, we want to use our Pathfinder tool, but in order for it to work, we have to have everything selected. Press that button there and that'll combine the two shapes like that. I'm just going to press W and see what I've done here. Okay, it's also got this nice dashed line going around it. Oh, and I've also got a hole going through it, but let's do the dashed line first. Okay, so in order to do the dashed line, let's clone this shape here by holding Option or Alt and dragging it. Let's move it across there. Press W in case so that you can see it again if you've lost your side of it. And what we're going to do is I'm going to get rid of the fill no fill and the outline is going to be white and I might set it to two points, the stroke sorry, to two points and let's choose the dashed line option and I think that's pretty good. Then let's just move it straight on top of the other one. Let's see how that looks. W, I can't quite see it. So what I'm going to do is make sure you select the right one, hold shift and option and that's just going to kind of pull it in like that. Press W again so we can see it properly. And that's pretty nice. Okay, I'm happy with that. Or you could fiddle around with it a bit more. You could stretch it a little bit if you needed to so that um, it fits more nicely with the shape, but that's up to you. Now, we've got, you'll notice we've got this um, hole through it. 
Okay, so if you remember from the last video, to make a hole in something, we need to subtract one, a top shape from the bottom shape. Let's grab your ellipse tool. I want to draw out a perfect circle, so I'm going to hold shift and option, maybe about that big. All right, I'm not going to worry about the stroke and fill because it's just its shape. Let's put this shape about there. Make sure it's in the middle-ish. Now select um, all, your, all, your, um, all your shapes. And let's use this one here, minus the front shape from the, well, it's not that one there, maybe it must be that one, no, nope. okay. What we're going to do is, let's get rid of this, let's give, I think that's giving us trouble there, let's take that out of the way, shift, and that should work now, there we go. And now let's bring this back over. It didn't like it because I had the other shape selected as well the dashed dotted line that was trying to subtract that. Okay, so if that happens, that's just move that out of the way. All right, now let's put, let's select the blue shape, not the dotted line. Let's add a drop shadow to it. To add a drop shadow, just press this button here. It's gonna give us our basic drop shadow. Now, you can uh, go into effects here, into drop shadow, and if you wanted to play it around with, you know, the angle and the distance, how big it was, its opacity, and the size of it and spread you could. All right, I'm not going to. Uh, now let's get, I'm going to just ungroup this so I can remember what I've done here. Where is it? Where's ungroup? I've got them both selected, that's why. Right click, okay, ungroup. All right, now I've got this text box. I've got three text boxes here, okay? So I'm going to add, put this 100 plus in. Let's get the text tool. We'll draw it out about this big. Okay, 100 plus. Now the font, I'm just going to stick with Minion Pro, okay? And let's make this nice and big. It's too big now for our text box, but that's okay, actually. It's because of, I need to select like that, yeah. All right, let's make this nice and big. I'll go up to 72, maybe. Um, and let's bring that in on top of there. All right, now you notice the plus is not in the right spot. Now, to fix that, double click to get your cursor up, and I'm just gonna select these. Oh, did I put a plus? I'm gonna delete, go back one. I'm gonna select just the plus, and I'm going to go in my, make sure the character's selected, and I'm gonna push it up by, is that, the, is that going up? No, that's not going up. Okay, now that's the line spacing, sorry. It's this one here. Okay, I'm going to push that up a bit. I might even make the size of it a bit smaller. Okay, just like that. All right, let's do the next text box. Draw it out, the one underneath. Ways to make. Let's write ways to make, all in capitals. W -O -S -O. Ways to make. And let's go and make that. Maybe it's 30. Go down to 30. Let's bring it over. It's too big, but we'll fix it up in a minute when we get it on there. Okay, ways to make. Let's make that a bit smaller so that it fits on. Maybe just like that. There you go, just like that, okay. Ways to make color work for you. Now you'll notice there's a contrast in font there. We'll talk about how to use contrast in fonts in class. Um, I've just downloaded one off the internet. Uh, color work for you. So I'm going to draw out a nice big text box here. Just be careful if you draw it in there It's going to type in the actual shape. So I don't want that to happen. So I'm going to hide this for the moment uh, And let's choose the font that I downloaded always in my heart because it's a nice handwritten font So color and it's all it's all written all in Work for you. It's written all in lowercase letters let's Bring that up nice and big. Maybe we'll go 48 and we'll center align it because it's center aligned. And let's bring it on here. See how that's looking. Okay, I'm going to highlight it and make it white because it's going to contrast against the rest of the, the other text color. Now you'll notice there's a lot of space in between my one. All right, so to stop that, highlight it, make sure character's selected and um, line space in here let's go down all right and this is going to bring the space of the lines together okay you can now start to make your font bigger all right 
And there we go, that's pretty much it for that one. Now what I might do is, I might do these two in, an, in their own separate lessons. Okay, so I'm going to stop this now and I'm going to come back with another lesson.